all, we have a DHT11 sensor connected to node MCU and then we are transmitting data to a thin bird. So now, for this we configured the D1 pin uh, of the uh, node MCU to receive the sensor data and the type of sensor is DHT11. Now, uh, in the previous video we have discussed, right, the username and password you can give here. Now, if you scroll down, what we are doing is basically we are trying to get the same uh, temperature data. So, we have send temperature data in a loop function and then we are reading the temperature <coughs> using the inbuilt function. And if there is an error read, uh, we are saying return and again read. Okay. And we are pushing the uh, temperature data to the things board um, using the client dot publish which we have seen. So now if you see the serial monitor here, we can see that the temperature readings actually the right temperature is 27.1. That's the correct temperature. Now if we see sometimes it is minus 13.9, sometimes it reads fail to read from DHT sensor. So, fail to read from DHT sensor is one of the common problems that is seen uh, while reading the DHT 11 sensor or DHT 22 sensor. So, fail to read from DHT sensor can be solved in many ways. Uh, so, first thing, uh, check if uh, uh, this particular pin is connected correctly near node MCU or not. And second thing, check whether node MCU is getting the proper voltage desired. So, you can give 3.3 to 5 volts, uh, any voltage in between. And third thing, ensure that you give proper delay after each reading. So, we realize that all these three parameters are okay. Voltage given to DHT sensor is 3.3 the pin is configured correctly and there is a enough delay and we try with different sensors but what we missed here is when we are trying to read uh, we did not include dht dot begin off okay so what it does is, is it actually configures the sensor pin um, and uh, this helps to read the data properly. Now, let us see if that helps to read the data or not by compiling and uh, pushing the data. Now that dht.begin is uh, included in the code uh, which configures the sensor pin properly, you can see it connected to the Wi-Fi connection. It also connected to things board node because that's what we have uh, uh, enabled in the code, right? And then you can see the sensor values are consistent without any fail to read DHT sensor um, issue that we are seeing. So, if you are struggling to find and if you are struggling with law, including or changing different delays, include this before reading the actual temperature value and it works.